Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. In the last episode we pushed ourselves all the way up to the equivalent of Torment 16, so I've, I've put the difficulty straight up to that so we can carry on at that level. Uh, we're looking to be levelling our gems up to 45 now, uh, because we're most of the way through the Destroyer level, and at the same time extract a bunch of powers from different things. Now we can, we can potentially do some of those if we do some more bounties um, but I'd rather focus on the gems today and then we'll switch back to doing bounties in a future run the other thing we could do is we could add, in fact let's let's do that we'll do one of the challenger rifts I haven't touched them in a while Ooh, a monk This will get us a whole bunch of bounty materials and we won't have to worry about it. What have we got? We've got Sweeping Wind and Tempest Rush. Okay. So I think we're mostly going around smacking things. In fact, where's the mirror? There's the mirror. Yeah, temp Tempest rushing around everything. I'm sure we'll we'll make it work. Oh yeah. I kind of want to say it's not going to be the most dangerous run, but really, really hard to say. Right, let's do this to get some resources back a little bit. Spirit is definitely something that I'm going to need to pay attention to. So we're not going to be attacking all the time, just a lot of the time. Once again, resource management is the uh, is the key. That being said, despite not really understanding the build fully still definitely holding our own and that's going to make things quite a bit easier Vicious strike indeed, we're 22 seconds ahead, so let's try and keep some of that momentum. Can we get this guy killed? Yes we can. Love it. Still got a bit of the shield piling left. Missed him. Missed him by the tiniest amount, but it was enough. Okay, give me some more spirit back. There we go. As with our main wizards. Spirit is the issue in these situations when you've got speed piling. Give him a little kill. Give him a little kill. We're still a good amount ahead of uh, where we were. Or the target, I should say. A good amount ahead of the target. I 
And that's just going to get even more pronounced as we move on. Okay, back to using our various assets at a regular speed. See some more big ones up here. Let's hop in, kill them quickly. And then just do a second pass through the area. Ninety-nine percent. There we go. Well, that was that was relatively straightforward. Resource management definitely more of an issue with this one than with my one. But uh, what are you gonna do? Okay, let's uh, switch back and carry on. Make sure it actually selects the correct character. You can never really trust it to do that. So, with that challenge rift cash, we get 15 of each thing. That's going to save us doing some bounties. Uh, also, we've now got even more death's breaths. So, we can afford to do 15 extractions. Uh, actually, yeah, let's, let's start here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11 and we'll leave the rest for now because we might want to extract some more in the future like specific things like the convention of elements uh, right so extract power yeah I mean we've only actually got death's breath to do 10 of these but Nemesis Braces, you were lovely conceptually. And we're sticking with the ones that we've got. Frostburn was the other thing that I was considering that we could use. And it's not, not necessarily a bad plan. So Frostburn over here. Cold skills deal 20% extra damage and have a 50% chance to freeze enemies. That's never going to be a bad thing. Um, but uh, yeah, for now, for now, we don't need that. Right, all, all the ones done that we can. So this comes back across. We still got a load of things to extract, um, but for now, the only thing we've got is to get our oh, gems up to forty-five. Now I spoke about um, the different conquests that we were going to do. Uh, Worlds Apart is definitely going to be one, uh, and after that, for the third one, we can try for Stars and Line. It's going to be difficult. We could do. Yeah, yeah. it starts to get annoying if we don't manage to do stars align. But we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, for now, straight on in with the Greater Rift. Uh, we can afford to empower it, so let's do that. And here we go. Without further ado, as they say. Let's not stand directly in the poison. This is going to be anno an annoying one. If they've got guys dying with death clouds. Now, I know we've had our own resource problems in the past, but that monk was really resource heavy. And there wasn't a resource generator there in with, um, with what they had. Which always feels a little bit wrong. 
You don't have a way of getting more resources, then you're stuck with just running away. We don't have a resource generator, but we don't have a resource problem, I'd say at this point. It's very easy to uh, fling stones at other people's build plans, but it does make them interesting, it does. Yeah, you sacrifice some things in order for, for better killing or better defense or... Let's make sure we've got at least two of these out for our damage reduction. Four hundred and thirty-four. We're still making good progress on our Garrigan levels. This is not a particularly fast section, though. Haven't seen it. There's an elite. Of course it's got shielding and, you know, explode your face, but explode your face is totally an affix. It's one that I often try and equip if I'm running a mage. Try and bring them in a little bit closer together, not get frozen myself. Poor Cormac just standing there like a right lemon. Nothing down here either. All right, where where is the blooming exit? I think, I think we should get out of here. This place is going to become annoying quite quickly. Alright, he managed to charge us and it did not one-shot us. That's good to know. Oh, massively itchy arm. Probably find I've just had like a little bite or something. Right, let's get that scratch. Oh, that feels good. Right. In we go. More hydras out for the damage reduction, of course. So far, not a bad rift. Or bad rift level, I should say. I mean, overall, it's been pretty good. We've made good, uh, good progress. Not much opportunity for Nemesis Braces to give us a speed boost, but we're still able to wear Nemesis Braces. I see a shield pilot. Let's grab that. Lots and lots and lots of nasty things in here. Not quite enough to summon the Rift Guardian, but very glad that the Shield Pylon was around while it was. I mean, we've still got the Shield Pylon, but 
Oh, is that it for this area? All right. 99%. Yeah. Kill him before he has a chance to swing at us. Yeah, we got a decent, decent selection of things from that. Okay, well, we're carrying on with our gems, of course. Force it gets most of it, and Ice Blink starts to come up afterwards. I'd say that's pretty good. I am returning to town. Uh, we do still have one greater of Keystone, so we can jump in and do another. And then we'll uh, we'll ID all the stuff together, but we can at least put our levels in. Lots more on each of these. Our life is getting bigger all the time. I really, really, if I cared, um, I should uh, take off our passive so that we could um, get the benefit of those extra few percentages of life. But we, we were fine without it, so. And that's, uh, that's because of that snapshotting problem that I mentioned before. Um, once you've got your galvanizing ward on, um, it remembers the level it should go to until it has completely expired. So no matter how your life changes after that, it won't pay attention until you take it off and put it back on. <coughs> Which could be by destroying it or could be by uh, restarting the game or, or by cycling it out as far as passive skill goes. Waves of open space. And that means we're moving on to the next bit. Yeah, the entrances are starting to feel a little bit more crowded. Uh, that could just be random chance, or it could be it's actually giving me worse ones. But I've got to remember to get those hydras out straight away, because without them, we lose so much of our damage reduction. 80% damage reduction. or had an elite in here with us. Ooh, that hurt. Well, that'll reset our galvanizing ward, that's for certain. Well done, Hydras. Keeping everything frozen and far away from me. a good black hole. Still not very happy about the whole black hole spell seal thing. I'm almost tempted to change over to the cold version of black hole. Because if we're not getting the, um, the direct number benefits we might as well try and get some benefit. So many explosions, I just want the, I just want the purple orbs. But I guess for, for when it does work, it's probably worth us keeping it as it is.
Alright, we've got channeling pilot. Let's get these around. As many black holes as we can in that area. Those guys are not putting feet on the ground. With all the black holes that we've got going off at the moment, that is a justification for us to have cooldown reduction in our kit. Uh, down, I think. have a conduit. Alright, let's uh, grab that, get them black holed and destroyed. It's such a good combination. Unless it's like a juggernaut or black holes on cooldown or a misclick or, or they're really, really quick on their attack. And Varusty is defeated. Loads of things in here. We got a ring out of that as well, by the looks of it. Okay, all this goes into Ice Blink. Still quite a way away from getting it up to 45. But between the three of them, there's only 15 levels left. So that's not, not a terrible place to be. Okay, let's do some bulk identification. We got a lot of... Did I forget to put my levels in? Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Okay, well, Leoric Signet that's better in all ways than our current one. So I could roll that, um, regenerates life into something else, into a socket, and we could just switch over to using it. So that's an interesting one. That hail of Karini is worse than our current, but we can hold on to it to re-roll it. Let's put that down here. Very nice looking in geom that's going up here. Selenium, I believe we've already got. Yeah, there's a selenium. So that's for salvaging. That's for salvaging. Because we have one ready to go under the hammer, I think. Yeah, there. Uh, Butcher's Carver, that's new. So that can come across. Burning Axe of Sankis, that's new. That's not new. Those are not new. Ooh. I mean, rather than Tasker and Theo, we could go for St. Archie's Gage and just go maximum shield. That is amusing, but I don't think it's particularly useful for us. That's new. That's new. We've already got the flavor of time. Yeah, just down there. That can go. This can go. This can go. Tower Rush's Allegiance. And scorn. All right, so these are all going to get salvaged up, and then we'll do a little bit of gambling. Still no more new primals, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, 
we will find some eventually. Right, what do we want? We, we still want Tasker and Theo, so that's what we're going to gamble for. Oh, so much disappointment. Come on, Kadala, you can you can give us better than that. I know you've got it hiding somewhere. Task of Theo. Increase the attack speed of pets by 42%. Uh we're gonna re-roll that life per second. It's not a brilliant one, but it's part of the build, so it's it's definitely gonna be worth it. And uh, really would want critical hit chance. I mean, it's perfectly average on the critical hit damage. There we go. That's better. So we're going to need to get rid of our shoulder piece now. Swap that back over. It's been a good run. Been a good run. Uh, Typhons, you can actually come down here and we can we can potentially re-roll these into other parts of Typhon's set and try and try and improve them. Fierce Gauntlets I'm just going to chuck away. Uh, Firebirds, Gloves I think I'm just going to chuck away. Oh no, oh, we've got two of them. Yeah, I'm going to chuck them away. So now we're gambling for rings. That is, that's what we need. We need the Convention of Elements. I can't afford that. Uh, can we do upgrades? No, we can't. We've only got two death breaths. Well, it's it's still a step forwards in our equipment. Tasker and Theo, and it's a low roll. It's a it's a really bad Tasker and Theo, all things considered. But it is still better than nothing. You're gone. You're gone. And I think we're back to running regular rifts. Increasing the attack speed of our pets by 42% is is pretty amazing. It's uh, I mean, you can see how fast they're moving now. If you can't really notice the difference, then uh, then definitely go back and check out uh, the last rift that we did. They're like. They're like little Hydra machine guns now. Magical frost spitting machine guns. Well, I want all of these. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like they're they're quite a bit more powerful. In the very specific way that you watch their health go down. Ooh, give me that. Give me that ring. Yeah, you need to die, mate. Preferably not directly next to me, but... I can always tank a hit or two. Which is not something I would ever expect one of my glass cannon builds to be able to do. But this is... This is okay. Until it's not going okay, it's very okay. And then it's very not okay.
tried to sneak in with that fire chain mess. Nope. Nope, that's not happening. Not today. I very much like these um, these sand tombs. I think they're well designed, they flow well, the art style's spot on, the lighting's great. Looks like we're going over the other side. Hydras lead the way. That is just the exit. Massive black hole in there on those guys. Yeah, with uh, with Tosca and Theo, it's definitely more efficient. Not quite as efficient as it could be if it was a better role, but once we get the convention of elements, we can then start focusing on getting better versions of our worst items. Some of that will be re-rolling, hoping for ancient, primal ancient, etc. Uh, some of it will be just trying to generate new ones with gambling or finding them like uh, like this. There's a lot of mortars that are coming in there. Yeah, nice open area with decent amounts of elites. That's what this rift bit is. Gives a lot of choice for tactical engagements. Such as running away. Ooh, I heard a gobbo. In a moment, Rift Guardian. I'm kind of busy with a few things. Did we kill him? Huh. Well, that was an accident. Honestly, it was an accident. I think there must have been one of my Hydras close enough to, to fight him. I was busy elsewhere. Well, let's get all of these. And the hat. Can't forget the hat. Um, now, in terms of death press, yeah, we've got 41. Let's, let's head back at this point. That's fine enough. Yeah, Wailing Host, Veer Sightless Skull, Echoing Fury, that's new. So Echoing Fury, you can come across here. Crown of the Primus, I'll have one so that I can actually pull it apart. Hack we've already done. Ether Walker we've already got. Uh, right, so, another Wailing Host. If I was going for a, a Legacy of Nightmares thing, I would be so disappointed. Although I'd probably be directly looking for rings rather than everything else that we've been hunting for. It's very easy to forget that uh, you know it is a lot down to what you're trying to get and spending your resources on. Okay, 42 million. It's not going to be enough for us to empower this. Oh, actually it is. Cool. All right. Are you ready? 
so we're still working on those legendary gems and it's not going to be many more runs uh probably four runs in total because this one will give us five the next two will give us four and the last one will tidy off the last couple of bits Right, everyone come a little bit closer to my Hydra, please. You're all a bit far away. It's all about the timing. Getting that black hole off just as soon as they spawn. Pick them right up. Oh, he's a juggernaut, or was a juggernaut. Ooh, brilliant. I did not time that well. I should have made sure that the uh, hydras were right next to him, but... It all worked out in the end, so... It's fine. There goes the channeling. See the little footprint trails as they come through the darkness, it's very cool. find something better to kill like these guys and onwards Okay, there's the door. Yeah, the Hydras have got a good range. That was something that I was like very specifically worried about at the start was that I need to be putting them right next to mobs, but they're they're all right. They've got a decent range. Shield pile is perfect. I love these Nemesis Braces so much. It's like, did you want to hurry through this rift? Well, you totally can. All you need is a little bit of uh, impending doom. And uh, you can have your heart's desires. Still got the shield pylon on, so I don't need to be holding back like this. Oh, and we're going to be able to get the Infernal Maiden gone before the shield runs off, if I'm lucky. There we go. Just in time. Well, I will take all of these. Where is she? Uh, let's get Ice Blinker. get that all handed in right let's ID what we've got and uh, I'll put our extra points in
So we got an ancient firebird's eye. That's cool. Another frostburn, which meh. Sash and knives. A compass of rose. Uh, we've got the traveler's pledge. At least I thought we had the traveler's pledge. Oh no, no, we've got another compass rose. That's all we've picked up so far. Okay, well we've got two. Two compass roses. Uh, the wand of woe. That's new. And <laughs> Slorax madness. Conceptually, I really like it, but it's such a useless item. Chainmail that can go. Fierce gauntlets can go as well. So these are all going to get salvaged up. Let's uh, let's ask for some rings. Puzzle ring. And focus. Well, that matches. Focus and restraint. It's nice if you're actually generating, which we're not. Uh, I want to very quickly do one upgrade of a ring, just in case we get the convention of elements. Man, old heal. I mean, it's... It's nice if you're building a specific lightning shocking build, which we're not, unfortunately. Uh, right, so that's going to go over here. It's, it's an ancient puzzle ring. Should we go to the, the ancient vault at Torment 16? Is that going to be absolutely crazy? I'm gonna I'm gonna salvage everything else up and then I think we're gonna go in and I'm probably gonna regret this. I have never been to the ancient vault. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the gold find off. I'm fine with what we're gonna have. Wow. I don't know where to focus, what to kill. They all have to die. Okay, let's let's loot the first bit. Holy moly, look at all this stuff. Already up to 87 million. Can you hear how many there are? Wow. Okay. can't see them, I just have to trust that they're dying correctly. Right, we are full of stuff. Let's head back temporarily. And make some more space. I'm glad you do get to leave and come back. It would be incredibly disappointing if that wasn't possible. We're probably going to restock with gems, but just in case. So much everything. Are they all dead? They might they might be all dead. Let's K 
carefully pick things up so we don't go into the next area. I'm going to have to go back to town again. Yeah, we are, we are full up again. And I'm up to 147 million. Well, this is going to let us do some empowering, that's for certain. Right, there was a design over here. Plan over here. Salvage those up. Okay, back for more. I mean, I would, I would have loved it if I opened the door and there was just like death on the other side. You know, he, ye who is too greedy. Oh my god, we can't actually get these properly. I also love the idea that they've got, like, nowhere to go. Because this is the vault. This is where they go to. Well, it's been... It's been pretty damn lucrative, I'd say. Um, let's... Let's go face our inevitable demise. Okay, that hurt, but we managed to tank it with our shields. Look at that. Money ain't a thang. Okay, we're, we're full of stuff. Oh, and the vault's closing soon. Okay, drop. Drop, drop. So, boots, source, belt. Death breaths. Veiled crystal. I can't okay. Anything to town. We'll head back. Try and make some space very quickly. Grab the last couple of bits. Okay. Got everything. This is so cool. Need more time. I am very, very happy that we found this. Look at how much money we've got. 296 million. It is insane. Okay. Uh, need to ID our stuff. And uh, I'm afraid we are actually out of time for today. We went over a little bit with that. Um, okay. We've got some, uh, some alternative Ashnagar's blood braces. These ones are, of course, better. I'm going to put these up here so that I know that those are the ones we're supposed to be wearing. These ones will come down here. It's an ancient, ancient bone saver of Zmukalis. Uh New Typhons. Brilliant. That's better for us. So we'll wear that. We can we can definitely look to improve that, but just just flat out boost on intelligence and vitality uh, is is awesome. We could roll that resistance to all elements up to uh, to percentage life maybe. Shame he does see it can go. Oh, broken promises. Uh, broken promises is okay. We're not the kind of person who's going to be doing non well you have to build for a non-critical build which is fine 
um, but not what we were doing. Two shoes of Dels here. This is a bit pants, so that can just go. And I don't know, we might already have one of these. Yeah, we do. It's a monk one. So that's all, all going to get salvaged up. I'm going to keep Typhons as a spare one for re-rolling. Where am I putting them? I'm putting them over here. And finally, the spare Tarash's gloves. Oh, there was more Typhons boots. Uh... They're not as good. They're, they're okay, but they're not as good because of that uh, life difference on them. Not to worry, not to worry. Okay, uh, I'm gonna salvage all this stuff up. Uh, but as I said, we are unfortunately out of time. So thank you very much for coming along everyone. I do hope you are enjoying this as always. If you are, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, we'll see you next time for some more Diablo 3. See you soon.